Two important updates about the Phoenix Police Department. First, there's been a settlement in a wrongful conviction lawsuit. And second, we confirmed the Department of Justice is still requesting evidence in its ongoing pattern or practice investigation. No one's covered Phoenix PD like our chief investigator, Dave Biscoping. He's here now with the latest. Now, there's a lot we're keeping an eye on with Phoenix Police, especially since the city believes that the DOJ could release the findings of their two and a half year investigation at any time. But before we get to the feds, let's talk about that settlement. <laughs> this is Frances Salazar, and for a long time, we've been reporting on her wrongful conviction and lawsuit against Phoenix police. First tonight, this grandmother spent nearly two years in prison, all based on the word of a Phoenix police officer with a history of dishonesty. Frances Salazar was finally released when the court learned that officer was a documented liar and that his history was kept secret. Records show the court got this notice, saying Phoenix is settling Francis's 2019 case. For how much? We don't know yet, but we will soon. And that's because whatever the amount, it's high enough to require a public informal vote from the city council. A top Phoenix spokesperson emailed us. It's going through the process and that just takes some time. While it didn't make the agenda for this week's council meeting, it is expected to be on the agenda soon. Now here's some background about Francis's case from our previous reporting. She spent 22 months in prison for alleged drug possession. The conviction was based solely on the testimony of officer Anthony Armour. No video. No pictures, no drug tests, no physical evidence, just his word. You have an officer who got on the stand and told you when I confronted her and she said, I'll take responsibility for her. The judge eventually tossed Francis's conviction because Armour and Phoenix PD didn't tell the court he was a documented liar. A year before her trial, he falsely arrested a different woman and lied about it. As part of its investigation, the DOJ was looking into Francis's case. So now let's talk about the feds. For months, the city says it believes that the DOJ investigation is pretty much over. In fact, Chief Michael Sullivan said previously that he expected a final report to be released as early as last November. But we heard the DOJ is still asking for more information and just made another request in recent weeks. And the city confirmed that too, writing, they specifically included a request for follow-up information on city programs related to mental and behavioral health response. Now, the Department of Justice does not comment on its ongoing investigations. And as for that lawsuit, we'll have a lot more to report in depth about that case once it officially settles. For now, I'm Investigator Dave Biscobing, ABC 15, Arizona.